All right, I want to talk a little bit more about this Sam Gip issue thing. There's a few more things I need to say. Um, a lot of people are coming out saying, oh, you falsely accused Brother Gip and all this other stuff. Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to point out the fact that uh, why don't we focus on what he said, this heresy that he's teaching about Jesus is not going to be the name in the Millennial Kingdom. It'll be Emmanuel and, and leaving verses out of Matthew chapter 1 when he was reading it. Uh, let's, let's talk about that. But let's say just, okay, uh, this, uh, this whole thing, he came out and he said, some King James ministry. All right, uh, first of all, let me just explain something. Number one, I have a life outside of the internet, okay? I cannot possibly know everybody else that's out there and who he's talking about, whatever, whatever. And let me show you the comments here. Uh, some people are saying in the comments, a lot of people actually were posting the links to Sam Gipps' video and saying that he answered you to me. Now, I realize this is probably some fun little game with the Andersnake zombie people that they, you know, try to make me look stupid or whatever else by saying that he answered you and stuff. And then they later come out and say, oh, no, it was actually this other buddy of Andersnake or something. But it's, it's, it's absurd. Okay, let me just say it this way. If I came out and I said, there's some, some uh, little papist out there. Uh, he's just a servant of Rome. I can't remember the name of the ministry. It's uh, something like a f Church Friend Ministries or something or Friend to Church Ministries or something like I forget what it is. You know, people say, you're, you're coming out against Sam Gipp. Oh, no, it's some other thing. I didn't mean Sam Gibb. Would he have a right to get a little bit offended? Yeah. And by the way, you say, well, King James ministry was not you, and it's some other Andersnake goon and things. Okay, well, just do something. Go to YouTube here. I'll show you. Just go and type in King James ministry and do a search for King James ministry. My ministry name is King James Video Ministries, but just say King James ministry. Look what comes up. Guess who comes up? Me. <laughs> All right. It's my ministry. This other little Andersnake goon or whatever, their name's not King James Ministry. So again, by him saying that and by people saying, hey, Sam Gipp has, has answered you, Brian, me. What am I supposed to do? I go, I watch it. He says, basically my ministry name, but I'm, I'm somehow now at fault because I didn't know every name of, of all the little goons that follow Anderson, all the little spin-offs of the Tinkerbell Club that he runs. All right. It's ridiculous. So, oh, you have to publicly apologize to Sam Gip. Well, if Sam Gip, I don't know. He, he did not come out and actually issue any kind of statement saying, I was not talking about Brian Denlinger's ministry. He didn't say anything about that. All right. So I'm supposed to offer some kind of recantation. All these people, you need to, you need to recant what you said, recant what you said about Sam Gipp and things. Okay, if Sam Gipp was not, was not speaking about me, about this ministry, okay, sorry about that. But he still lied about the scriptures. He still is teaching a heresy, a very dangerous heresy. And I'm not going to back down on that ever. All right? His name is Jesus. That's my Lord. That's my Savior. And that's the name that's going to be here from now the whole way through to eternity. Don't tell me this thing of Emmanuel is going to show up and stuff like this. Heresy. Total, complete heresy. So, you know, a lot of you, a lot of you, I think, are starting to look for any little thing that you can get on me. Any kind of little dirt that you can get on me and then just throw my whole ministry out because of some little thing that you can get. You know? And there's a brother out there. I'm not going to name you. But there's a brother because I still think that you're, you know, I believe you're saved and you're doing things for the Lord so I don't want to hurt you or whatever. But, and he said he's, he's not going to recommend my ministry until I forget, you know, ask for Sam Gibbs' forgiveness for this whole thing. Why don't we talk about what Sam Gibbs is teaching there, brother? Why don't we talk about that? So, you know, this, this whole thing is just, it's, it's just so ridiculous. You know, I just, I guess that there are people out there that they can just be online all the time and just know everything that's going on and whatever else. That's not me. That's never been me. Um, I have a life that's, uh, you know, I have a lot of other things going on. So, uh, <laughs> whatever. I don't know what else to tell you, you know. Um, you know, and, uh, oh, one other thing. I was trying to think of what else it was I was going to answer. But uh, the other thing is people say, oh, you're so prideful. You, you just want everybody to mention your name. Let me explain something about that, all right. 
because it, it, you know, I know it sounds bad. I say, why doesn't, why don't people mention my name and things? And you say, oh, you're prideful. I can understand why people would think that, but let me explain what I mean by that. I want to be part of a family, okay? And I am part of the family of the body of Christ. And what I do with my family members is I say, hey, if you want to watch a good video on such and such, then you watch a brother so-and-so. If you need a good book on this, let me show you the good book on that. Let me show you, oh, there's a good one over here that's been written. And see, and I name people. I name first name and I name last name. If I learn something from somebody, I'll say, hey, Dr. Ruckman said such and such, or Sam Gipp, I remember reading his book, The Answer Book, up here. It's the first one I read. It was a blessing, okay? Does that mean that I'm not ever going to rebuke him if he goes into heresy? Absolutely not. But the whole thing I'm saying is, I know for a fact that there have been many people that have referred to this ministry, and yet they won't name my name. You know? And it's not all because I want to have the pride of having my name up in lights someday or something like that. Far from it. If I did that, I'd monetize, or if I wanted that, I'd monetize my account like a lot of the fakers out there, you know, and I'd have, you know, 60,000, 80,000 subscribers myself, or maybe even over 100,000. I don't monetize. I never have, and I never will. All right. It's not about self-promotion. It's just about, hey, if you've used some of my work, name me. I'm your brother in Christ. And of course, you know, some of you know, my friends on YouTube and things too, I mean, friends around the world, you'll name me. You'll, you'll refer to me in your books or you'll refer to me in a video or something like that. Just just say my name, you know. Brother Brian has a good video on this. Why? Because we're family. Don't you understand that? You know, I mean, if Sam Gipp had a problem with King James Video Ministries and you say, oh, he did. Okay, let's just say he did. Just name me. Just say, hey, I don't agree with Brian Denlinger on such and such. Name my name. What is this? All this thing, this this whatever stuff, it just... So, that's why I got very, very angry. Because, hey, he uses a name that I'm not familiar with. King James Ministry, if this is some Andersnake thing or whatever else, I haven't ever seen that. And people are putting in the comments that he was talking about me. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? So, you want to you scrap my ministry? Then go someplace else. You know, I really wish people would do that. You know, right? I mean, if this work or this council be of men, it will come to naught, right? So if I'm some wicked heretic and things like that, then just stop watching my videos. I know it's a new concept to you, but, you know, stop watching my videos and just pray that the Lord stops this ministry. Simple. If I'm false, the Lord will stop the ministry. So... And, you know, I, I did see a lot of you were writing in the comments, too. You think it's just some kind of little psyop thing. I think it is, too. I really do. Which implicates Gip. Which, whatever. Um, I've suspected for a very long time that uh, Anderson and, and his little cronies and things are, are part of uh, some um, military intelligence type agencies and things. Eric John Phelps, I respect a lot of what he says. Don't agree with him on everything. Sure, he doesn't agree with me on everything. But I'll name him, you know. <laughs> Uh, he's my brother in Christ, and um, he said that you know to me that yeah he believes that uh, Stephen Anderson is a as a temporal or a Jesuit temporal coadjutor. Um, what that means is basically it's just he's not a he's not a Jesuit priest. He's just a, a you know somebody that helps out in temporal you know affairs and things like that. Um, he's controlled opposition is essentially it. Um, which will be, we're going to be coming out with some more information on that in the future. Uh, my wife has had some dealings with some of the, uh, the ints, so to speak, human, sigint, ascent, you know, these different uh, agencies that a lot of times they'll work with civilians and things. Don't want to get ahead of myself, but uh, we're going to be bringing out some stuff on that. Lord's been showing us some things. She's, when, in her time in the military, she was military intelligence, and she worked with some of those organizations and things so uh, she has a unique perspective on it but um, a lot of these guys that are in the quote-unquote civilian realm uh, they the reason that they'll use some military terminology a lot of times is because they're in on the whole thing and uh, it is a definite fact that the military um, has it in for Bible believing Christians um, and, you know, again, I'm not saying everybody who's in the military because somebody's going to come out and, oh, I know, I was in the military. We never, you know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, when I say the military, let me clarify. Certain 
agencies within the military, you know, the military industrial complex. All right. Uh, I know not all people in the military are, you know, Jesuit people. It, I understand. Okay. So military couldn't function without some useful idiots in it, you know, but, uh, so anyways, um, that's just going to be it. I just, um, it's just, it's getting absurd, but, uh, you know, these little Andersnake people, it's just it's such immature little brats. It cracks me up. You know, they can't answer me, you know, from the scriptures. They, all they do is just teach their Roman Catholic replacement theology. Anderson comes out, steals other people's material, you know, puts it together and makes his documentaries with the lost uh, Paul, Paul Wittenberger, you know, Hollywood little producer that he is. So... But we're going to be bringing out more information on them, too, as time goes by. Um, so that's going to be it. Uh, thank you for watching.